I learned about what I wanted to do just by doing it. I didn't go to school and have anyone show me how to, how to do it. I have some insecurity about that, I guess. But I'm, I'm doing better at like, kind of owning that now that I'm a little bit older and being like, this is my trip, you know? In order to make any, anything successful, whether it's a painting or a photograph or whatever, it's like, I think the, the real key to it is, is just to make it personal. And if you're able to get, get that across in your photograph or whatever your medium may be, like, that's successful work. So this is from 1973 by Detroit artist Charles McGee. It's pretty amazing that it's still here. And it's like one of the last original, like downtown visual things that are still existing. Stuff like, you know, graffiti stood out to me and mark making and just kind of like any, any of that stuff. I was just like, oh, this is exciting. I like public work because it's, it's just available for everybody. I just really like how they like left the blueprint of it. They left the layout, how you can see like it's human. I really actually like the way that artists take photographs. They don't seem to be as like hung up on the rules of photography or, 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 or like locked in a box to like what, what an image is and what an image isn't. Some of the stuff that I look for that I'm interested in when I'm shooting is like this, this ghost signage. So for instance, this text and just kind of all this faded stuff in the background, I like, it's just like really cool old relics. It definitely is not now, it's from a different time. I do like the reactions I get sometimes as far as like, I'll put one up and instead of like someone taking it down, we'll just paint it over. It lasted like a week red and then they painted over it in uh, salmon. I think it's a sun. But anyway, they knew what they were doing, making it happen with whatever you got. I always found myself most excited or most interested when I felt like I had discovered something. Putting that inspiration back out into the world, like the things that inspire me and catch me off guard and keep me interested. A lot of the stuff that I, that I photograph is, is long gone, long forgotten. People don't look at it. Like I see it and I almost crash my car and it stops me in my tracks and I'm like, holy fuck, that's amazing. <laughs>